Who knew you could win a fight by blocking with your head? Here comes Rocky II, the rematch of the century, and surprisingly a good sequel to an excellent movie. The cast is all back from the first movie, who are all just as good, and surprisingly it isn't the same movie all over again, which is great. There are actually new challenges in this movie for Rocky to face, which makes him even more relatable and develops everybody as a character. So the story for this movie is that Rocky has hung up the boxing gloves after his big fight with Apollo, but Apollo Creed wants a rematch because nobody goes the distance with the champ. So he starts hounding him throughout the movie, but Rocky ends up saying, I'm done with boxing, and he ends up taking his money that he won from the fight and going on a spending spree with it. He buys a new house, a new car, jacket, buys a bunch of stuff for Adrian, but soon finds out he needs to find another way of income because their money is shrinking, and he's got a son on the way. So he straps on the boxing gloves one more time to take on Apollo in the rematch of the century. Once again, Rocky is just as likable as ever. I mean, you are rooting for him the entire movie. You really feel what he's going through, too. Adrienne is great, too. She gets developed more in this movie because they provide more obstacles for her, which is great. That grows her as a character. Also, Polly. Like I said in my last review, you can never just get enough Polly. Mickey is great again, as always. Burgess Meredith gives a great performance. You know, you love Mickey, you love his comments and things like that. Apollo also gets some good development in this movie, too. You see that that really damaged his ego in the previous movie by having Rocky go the distance. And it kind of hurt him as a person. You know, and then he gets all, you kind of feel bad for him, too, because he's starting to get lots of hate mail and things like that by people saying that he either lost the fight, it should have been a draw, or the fight was rigged, which is, you know, in the mind of a fighter, that could really do a lot to them. And the of any athlete to be accused of something like that. The only problem I have with this movie is that really that the ending fight for this movie is a little bit corny and over the top. This is when they start using the slow-mo effects, not all the punches connect. The punch sounds are just really awkward in this movie. <laughs> And Rocky just takes punches to the face like a dipshit. And the ending of the fight is so over the top and so unrealistic and just Hollywood that, yeah, it is kind of hard to take seriously. But, you know, that was really the thing that I loved about the first movie was that it, the fight was realistic. The only reason why Rocky got hit was because... Apollo was so fast and he didn't have, you know, time to keep his hands, to, to put his hands up. So, yeah, like, that's why I like the first fight a lot more. It's probably my favorite one of the entire series because it was, to me, the most realistic. This movie is actually a worthy sequel to Rocky. It develops the characters more and gives them new dilemmas for the characters to develop and grow in, which is what a good sequel should do. The only thing I have to complain about is, again, the fight in the end, but everything else in the movie was good. If the fight in the end was just as good as the one in the first movie, I think it would have been truly great and been up there with the first movie. But for what we got, we still got a very good sequel. I'll still give it an 8 out of 10. I just want to say one thing to my wife who's home. Yo, Adrian! I did it! <laughs> So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching. <laughs>